The Dow closing at a new record high. Now let's get a check on what stocks are at new highs as 2023 wraps up. Here are the details. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery. Hi, Jared. That's right, Julie. NASDAQ 100 missed that record just by a hair. Uh, but it's impressive to see how all of these have stacked up and come to record highs throughout the year. And up first was the tech sector. And what's really interesting is that tech and home builders kind of went neck and neck. The MAG 7 for all of uh, what we talked about them were met uh, with several home builder stocks. And I'll show you uh, that in a second that were just uh, kind of going up with them uh, into July. Then there was a period of recess, and then they ended up exploding in November, December, and that's what we're looking at now. But we're also seeing chip stocks, that socks at a record high, 67% for the year. Uh, covered home builders in tech want to talk about infrastructure. We got PAVE, that's up 37 or 30.7%. European financials, uh, the Dow, you look at defense and aerospace, that's the ITA ETF. Gold, we were just talking about that, uh, reaching a record the other day, and also insurance, although this peaked a couple weeks ago. So these are all record highs within the month of December. And these are individual stocks. This covers everything in the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, and meme stocks. So it's not completely a representative of uh, all U.S. stocks, but it's pretty close. Um, what I, what's really interesting, I was talking about the home builders. Here's, here's Builder. This is highly levered to the, uh, to the building sector. And we can see this is a stock that rose through July, had a little bit of a comeback there to the downside, and then really went off to the races starting in November. That's very similar to this chart of Apple. I'm just going to show you the market cap weighted view here. Very, very similar charts. Apple didn't quite uh, surge as much as some of the others uh, as part of the uh, year-end sprint here, but definitely worth writing home about, up almost 50%. Let me go back to the equal weighted and just kind of show you what a broad swath of industries we have seen these record highs take place in. So Pulte Group, that's number two. Um, that's also in construction. But then we have Pan W, Palo Alto Networks, a software company up 111%. Chipstock, AVGO, Broadcom. Then we have FICO, Fair Isaac, that's in the financial sector. Um, and it goes down the line. Booking, here's one, up 76%. This stock, uh, pretty impressive. Completely different industry than the others we've been talking about. We got Lennar, another home builder, up 65%. What's been interesting too is to see some of these uh, smaller or these less, uh, these smaller return stocks really uh, finally come into their records towards the end of the year. Here's General Dynamic. It's only up 4% for the year, and you can see it spent almost the entire year in the red, but it is finally climbed back here. And if you look at a max chart, you can see um, this is, uh, they build submarines, uh, but uh, this has been kind of a volatile stock throughout the pandemic, uh, but nevertheless, we're at a record high here. Here's another one. Textron up 14%, AIM, AME up 18%. Let's take a look at raw stores. This is a retail name. Um, let's take a look at the year to date. I think this was in the red for much of the year. Then we came alive starting just before September and then really exploded towards the end of the year. Um, I guess the closing comment here is uh, you can't really predict what's going to happen at the beginning of the year with a lot of certainty because I don't think anybody would have expected this towards the beginning. I will say, however, we are still in the midst of the Santa Claus rally. If we do manage these uh, last five trading days of the of the old year and the first two of the new year, if we manage to close green, that's somewhat predictive of a year end close in 2024. But um, yeah, don't quote me on that. It's a little bit far away. This is why I have a no predictions policy on a personal level. I got to get one of those. And I'm happy to ask lots of other people for theirs. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it.